Even the most common illness has misconceptions. Did you know that? Or you are a few of those who know about it? From early detection to treatment options, there are countless myths circulating that can lead to confusion and uncertainty. Don't be missled any longer. Learn the truth behind the top 10 prostate cancer myths and take control of your health today. Prostate cancer is a type of cancer that develops in the prostate gland, which is a small walnut-shaped organ located just below the bladder in men. It is the most common cancer among men in the United States and the second leading cause of cancer death in men after lung cancer. Prostate cancer typically develops slowly and may not cause any symptoms in its early stages. However, as cancer progresses, it can cause symptoms such as difficulty urinating, frequent urination, and pain or discomfort in the pelvic area. However, there are some myths to it, so today we will be talking about those myths and their facts. Myth – Only elderly men get prostate cancer The statement only elderly men get prostate cancer is a myth and is not entirely true. Prostate cancer can affect men of all ages, not just those who are elderly. While it is true that the risk of prostate cancer increases with age, it is not limited to men over the age of 65. In fact, according to the American Cancer Society, about 6% of all prostate cancer cases are diagnosed in men under the age of 55. Additionally, African-American men and men with a family history of prostate cancer are at an increased risk for developing the disease at a younger age. Fact. The fact behind this myth is that prostate cancer is slow-growing cancer that may not cause any symptoms in its early stages. Therefore, many men who are diagnosed with prostate cancer at a younger age may not have any symptoms, and the cancer is only detected during routine checkups or screenings. It is important for men of all ages to be aware of their risk factors for prostate cancer and to discuss with their healthcare provider the appropriate age to begin screenings. Myth. If I don't feel a tumor, I don't have prostate cancer. If I don't feel a tumor, I don't have prostate cancer is a myth because prostate cancer does not always present with a palpable tumor. Many cases of prostate cancer are detected through screening tests such as the PSA, prostate-specific antigen, blood test, and the digital rectal examination, rather than through physical examination. Fact. The fact behind this myth is that prostate cancer often grows slowly and may not cause any symptoms in the early stages. As a result, many men may not be aware they have the disease until it is detected through screening or causes symptoms in later stages. Additionally, a physical examination alone may not be able to detect a tumor in the prostate, as it is a small gland located deep within the pelvis. Therefore, men need to undergo regular screenings and discuss their risk factors with their healthcare providers to ensure early detection and treatment of prostate cancer. Myth: My father had prostate cancer, so maybe I will have it. The statement, my father had prostate cancer, so maybe I will have it, too, is a prostate cancer myth. This statement suggests that prostate cancer is solely based on genetics and is inherited, but this is not entirely true. While genetics do play a role in the development of prostate cancer, it is not the only factor. Other factors such as age, diet, lifestyle, and overall health can also contribute to the development of the disease. Fact. The fact behind this myth is that while having a family history of prostate cancer does increase the risk of developing the disease, it is not a guarantee. According to the American Cancer Society, only about 15% of prostate cancer cases are thought to be inherited. Additionally, having a family history of prostate cancer does not necessarily mean that the same type of prostate cancer will be inherited. Myth. Prostate cancer isn't deadly. The statement prostate cancer isn't deadly is a myth that is often perpetuated by those who are not fully informed about the disease. While it is true that some forms of prostate cancer may not be aggressive and may not require immediate treatment, this does not mean that all cases of prostate cancer are not deadly. In fact, prostate cancer is the second most common cancer among men worldwide and is responsible for over 300,000 deaths annually. This is because prostate cancer can be slow-growing and may not cause any symptoms for many years, making it difficult to detect and treat in its early stages. Additionally, some forms of prostate cancer can be highly aggressive, 
and can spread quickly to other parts of the body, making it more difficult to treat and increasing the risk of death. Therefore, it is important to understand that all forms of prostate cancer should be taken seriously and regular screenings and early detection are crucial to improve outcomes for those who are diagnosed with the disease. Myth. If cancer retreats, it cannot be treated again. The statement, if cancer retreats, it cannot be treated again is a common prostate cancer myth. This statement suggests that once a person has been diagnosed with prostate cancer and has undergone treatment if the cancer returns, there is no hope for further treatment. However, this is not the case. Prostate cancer, like many other types of cancer, can recur after initial treatment. This is known as a recurrence or relapse, but it's not ultimately lethal. Fact. The fact behind this myth is that there are multiple treatment options available for prostate cancer recurrence, including surgery, radiation therapy, and hormone therapy. In some cases, combined cases will be used. Additionally, clinical trials and new treatments are constantly being developed, providing even more options for those who have a recurrence of prostate cancer. Myth, PSA tests are bad for you. The statement, IPSA tests are bad for you, is a prostate cancer myth. IPSA, or the prostate-specific antigen test, is a commonly used screening tool for prostate cancer. The test measures the level of PSA in a man's blood, which can indicate the presence of cancerous cells in the prostate gland. However, the test is not without its limitations and can produce false positives or false negatives. Fact: One of the main criticisms of the IPSA test is that it can lead to overdiagnosis and overtreatment of prostate cancer. This is because the test can detect small, slow-growing tumors that may never cause harm or symptoms during a man's lifetime. As a result, Many men may undergo unnecessary and potentially harmful treatments, such as surgery or radiation therapy. Myth, a low PSA indicates that prostate cancer is not present. The statement, a low PSA indicates that prostate cancer is not present, is a common misconception and a prostate cancer myth. The fact is that a low PSA level does not necessarily mean that a person does not have prostate cancer. PSA, or prostate-specific antigen, is a protein produced by the prostate gland that can be found in the blood. Elevated levels of PSA can indicate the presence of prostate cancer, but a low PSA level does not necessarily rule it out. Fact. In fact, many men with early-stage prostate cancer may have normal or only slightly elevated PSA levels. Additionally, factors such as age, race, and medications can affect PSA levels making it difficult to rely solely on PSA levels to determine the presence of prostate cancer. Therefore, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional and undergo further testing, such as a biopsy, to confirm the diagnosis of prostate cancer. It is also important to note that PSA levels should not be used as a sole screening method for prostate cancer, as false positives and false negatives can occur. Myth. Prostate cancer treatment always causes impotence the statement, if you have a low PSA, you don't have prostate cancer is a common misconception and a prostate cancer myth. The fact is that a low PSA level does not necessarily mean that a person does not have prostate cancer. PSA, or prostate-specific antigen, is a protein produced by the prostate gland that can be found in the blood. Elevated levels of PSA can indicate the presence of prostate cancer, but a low PSA level does not necessarily rule it out. Fact. In fact, many men with early-stage prostate cancer may have normal or only slightly elevated PSA levels. Additionally, factors such as age, race, and medications can affect PSA levels, making it difficult to rely solely on PSA levels to determine the presence of prostate cancer. Therefore, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional and undergo further testing, such as a biopsy, to confirm the diagnosis of prostate cancer. It is also important to note that PSA levels should not be used as a sole screening method for prostate cancer, as false positives and false negatives can occur. In conclusion, there are many myths surrounding prostate cancer that can cause confusion and fear. It is important to understand the facts and dispel these myths in order to make informed decisions about your health. Whether it's the belief that all men over 50 should be screened, 